France, a former colonizer, has threatened to retaliate if Nigerians go after French interests, they say. Now, look at it. This is a declaration of war. After killing our leaders, after killing 23, more than 23 African leaders, France is saying that, is declaring war, open war. My question to black Africans is, are we at that point that Malcolm X advocated that they attack one, they attack us all? So Mali, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Nigeria, all Mauritania, are you going to stand by if France comes uh, in the name of protecting its interests? But wait a minute. What are, what are its interests? Uh, our own resources, our black African resources that we want to take over. All this that's going on in Niger, in Mali, in all other countries that have been cools, is a result of France having a hold still on Francophone countries. Matter of fact, all the Western countries are all reparations still have a hold on us. So, as they did against Haiti, when Haiti freed slaves, they had to force Haiti to pay for freeing slaves. In the United States, when slaves were freed, they paid the slave masters, those who owned own slaves. They did not give money to the uh, freed slaves. So right now, the call is, if France, which has declared war, that's a war, subtle war declaration, goes to Niger in the name of protecting its interests, will you stand by? As a black African everywhere, all black Africans everywhere, is it the US, is it in Britain, is it in France, is it in Belgium, is it in Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, Ethiopia, Mali, Senegal, Kenya, Tanzania, will you stand by? That is time for Choboy. No, this is our renaissance. You cannot continue to be doing this against black people, against black Africans, against people from God's melanin endowed people. So yeah, this is a Choboy moment. No, France, you owe reparations. All Western countries, you owe reparations. I think this current crisis in Niger has been an eye-opener for us Africans. We all have seen where or what our elites value the most. And we all have realized that it's high time that we all get involved in this issue. Because remember, Africa is our continent and only us, the Africans, will fix it. No other will do it for us. You can see how much France has exploited the colonies. And you can see how much the people have been suffering as a result of France's involvement in their country. And you can see how France is taking almost everything from Niger and giving them little to nothing. How can you even wrap your head around this? that Niger has a lot of uranium and France is extracting this uranium from Niger and France is using this mineral to power their country and even sell some to other countries in Europe. But yet still, Niger doesn't have enough electricity. And many people in Niger are unable to have constant electricity. And Niger is buying 90% of its electricity from Nigeria. How is this even possible? How? It's a very, very strange uh, uh, thing that when you start giving it a lot of thoughts, then it kind of blows your mind. France is harvesting Niger's mineral resources. And then when the people of Niger wanted to fight for what is theirs, when the people of Niger said to themselves that we have seen enough and we have suffered enough and we think that France, you have taken enough. Please, can you just go? And France said to them, no, I'm not going to leave. 
I have interest in your country, which I must protect. And uh, if you dare touch any of the things I value, I will crush you. <laughs> it's so it's so strange. What do they think about us, the Africans? Do they even think that we have rights? Do they even believe that we have things that we want, like, like the country belong to us? Do they even think that? How can you come to someone's country? How can you be in someone's country and you are exploiting the country? And when the person said, go, and you are like, I have interest, so I cannot go. You totally and completely disrespect a person in their own home. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is, this is, this is beyond comprehension. This is, this, is, this is madness. People cannot even wrap their head around it. And as an African, it's so funny, right? That's why if you, you, you find me laughing. Because I cannot wrap my head around. I cannot. Your interest in the country is much more important than the living standard of the people who own the country. Your interest in the country is far more important than the lives of the people who are the owners of the country. Your interest in the country is far more important than the livelihood of the people who are the inhabitants of the country. If you even value the people a little bit, you would have done things for them. You would have even provided them with enough electricity. But you haven't, which means you do not value the people at all. But things are changing. The tides are turning. France, your days in Africa are numbered. It's a revolution. And it's spreading through Africa. You've seen what is going on from Guinea to Mali to Burkina Faso to Na Niger. Who knows what country would be next? It might just be Cote d'Ivoire or Senegal. Who knows, right? <laughs> but you guys out there, what is your take on France and the, the so-called interest in Niger? Should France be claiming to have an interest in Niger? Should France even be talking about not leaving Niger after what they've done in Niger? Let us know in the comment section below. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, do not forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel because little did of good we, and the one you're doing just now, help us a lot, I shall ever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.